Hello everybody, my name's Williams, and welcome back to building the Kanto region from Pokemon in Minecraft. Now in this episode, as you can tell, we're going to be taking a look at Fushia City Gym with Gym Leader Koga. And of course you've got Lapras here in Fushia City Gym as well, having a good old swim, which she usually is as well. There we go, let's head on over. So here we are, Fushia City Gym. So we're going to take a look, quick look at the sign, and then we'll head on in. So here's the sign as well. I have changed it up a bit so it's a bit more clearer to actually see. So it's Fushi City Gym, Gym Leader is Koga, Poisonous Ninja Master. So let's go and have a look, shall we? And here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Fushia City Gym. Now I have been basing this again off the Pokemon Let's Go games. At first I didn't know how this was going to go uh, because of course you know in the games it's kind of like invisible walls but you can partially see them but in this uh, there's no way of actually doing that so what I've done is put up invisible walls and you have to basically navigate your way through the maze that he has. So of course I can't just simply walk up to him and battle him in the middle there. You actually have to find your way uh, actually around the maze to actually get to him. Now, with these red carpet pieces that I put on the floor, I, it's kind of hints of which way to go, I guess. Um, I might actually change this up to actually make it a bit, you know, more, I guess, make a bit more sense. But the way I've got it is when you actually step on a red carpet, uh, it basically means you can either go left, you know, north, south, east, or west. So, of course, if I try going north, so I can go north, but of course I can go east and west, but I can obviously go south because that's the way in. So if I go north, I can go any further, so it's usually going towards the carpets, basically. So I can't go any further there, so let's try going over this one here, yep, there we go. And this one here, so, um, so on and so forth, so... It kind of gives you an idea of which way to go. Same with this one. So we can go over this way, maybe. Nope, I can't. Oh, over this way. And so on and so forth. So I have put items as well throughout the gym. So it kind of gives people a reason, I guess, to actually go through the maze to try and get the items. But what I like about these invisible walls as well, you can't simply throw your Pokeball and battle Koga. Uh, it just bounces right off which is great because originally it was actually going through which kind of caused a problem <laughs> but uh, yeah it managed to fix that as well. But let me show you a top down view. So this is what it's currently looking like right now but let me show you real quick what I originally done. So as you can see here this is the maze that was originally created, but it, I kind of didn't like it. It wasn't true to the games, and plus as well, it was very dark in certain parts of the maze. So what I've done is built it up sort of similar to that, and I just basically replaced it all with invisible walls. So that was kind of a mock-up of what it originally looked like, but I had to change it drastically add new things like to the uh, maze as well in this but yeah and as usual you've got your spectators in the stands and you've got your gym badge on the ceiling and also you can see it in the back there behind Koga up on the wall as well so you have a sneak peek of the badge that you're gonna earn but yeah this is it guys Fushia City Gym Sorry again that this is a short episode, but I hope you enjoyed it. I am making somewhat some progress. So in the next episode, I'm going to be looking at Saffron City. So if you like what you see, be sure to leave a like. If you have any suggestions, leave a comment. And also if you want to keep up to date, subscribe as well. I really do appreciate it.
And as always, I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.